traders and uh, welcome to another uh, update on the market um, for today uh, we have a very uh, high high volatility day a uh, lots of markets actually moving um, so I will start first with um, actually with the Bitcoin market um, I spoke about this consolidation uh, that we had in the past days uh, on the Bitcoin with a um, top around 60,000 and the bottom around around 50,000 so we got this consolidation and today so far what we can see is there is a breakout mode going on already uh, we're already trading below the Bollinger's for this is a third bar but momentum is actually increasing uh, big time and if I go to the larger frame just to show you so I mark the levels here um, from the background we had at 42,500 and and around 51,000 so I can still see that this since the breakout happened to the downside I can at least see this uh, to revisit maybe this pin bar low at 51,000 zone so there's a still space for this sell off to even go further downside so eventual selling um, opportunities on the rallies will be I think the best choice in this um, under this environment right so there is a breakout the multi-day balance very strong to the downside since market is right now on intraday extremes right uh, the point will be here to watch for some kind of um, at least some kind of pullbacks or so for a further downside um, other market we did hit very which was affected very hard today with basically energy sector so Bitcoin is so far down 8% for the day but like crude oil uh, if I I'll just show you the crude oil market is down almost 5.8 percent it's a big drop for crude oil um, should we'll go to a daily time frame and show you that drop so pretty pretty big drop uh, and the crude oil if we go here I will remove drawings for now we got this level here the previous swing low and swing high it seems like this level is right now acting with support for today will the price stop there or not we'll see but so far it's already to the extreme level intraday is already into the very big extreme but there is no big signs for the reversal as well so be very careful I mean we have the extreme condition but there is no any kind of reversal pattern or anything else so doesn't so it can also happen that you know quote still got a more power for the downside because this magnitude and the momentum that it kicked in here uh, watch the lower frames watch this momentum here if you check the previous momentums on the downside this is a huge one this is the biggest momentum to the downside in the last days or months even so if you see yeah we have something similar that happened here you see we got a rally but still more down cycle after that <clears throat> So in this example, extreme condition, yes, testing of some potential support 73 level, yes, but still no signs for the reversal. So I will be very careful and watch closely this price section around. If you see some kind of reversal patterns, I can see price to back towards the previous swing lows um, at maximum um, 75 area in case of the some reversal patterns if there is no reversal patterns and probably just doing the pullback and continue more down um, the momentum is way uh, absolutely downside so the odds are that we can even go lower and eventually uh, go towards the 70 level so uh, again a decision level but momentum is absolutely to the downside with no signs of reversal so uh, if, there, if there is no any like strong clue there is a like uh, big reversals coming on and so then this can just still go more downside and favoring more downside uh, and I want to update you about Australian dollar as well because I think here we're building some reversion to the mean this looks like we having reversion to the mean um, we see that we hit the we're building the higher lows in the two hours so it seems like Australian dollar really wants to go back towards the mean which will um, 
lead us potentially to let's say 0, 07, 175, 180, 190 at maximum. But this looks like reverse the mean to me. And we have the building the higher lows and so forth. So I will watch for buying units in this example. This is a fresh stuff. Uh, and it's it's ready to happen from my perspective. That will be all for this update. I hope that you did enjoy. Um, have a good weekend, guys. Trade safe as always, and see you Monday. Take care.